the show was given the green light. Um, we went back to Cape Town and redesigned the horse completely. Here is a plan. <laughs> and here is our factory in Cape Town where we make horses. You can see quite a lot of skeletons in the background there. The horses are completely handmade. There is very little 20th century technology in them. We used a bit of laser cutting on the plywood and some of the aluminium pieces, but because they have to be light and flexible and each one of them is different, they can't be mass produced, unfortunately. So here are some half finished horses uh, ready to be worked in London. And now we would like to introduce you to Joey. Joey boy, you there? Joey! He's got it. It's in his pocket. Joe? Joey, 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 Shh, shh, come here. Stand here where people can see. Move around, come. That's it. I'll just like to describe, I won't talk too loud, he might get irritated, but um, here Craig is working the head. Uh, he has bicycle brake cables going down to the head control in his hand. Uh, each one of them uh, operates either an ear separately uh, or the head uh, up and down, but he also controls the head directly by using his hand. Uh, the, the ears are a very important, obviously, and a very important emotional indicator of the horse. When they point right back, the horse is fearful or angry, depending on what's going on in front of him, around him. Or when he's more relaxed, the head comes down and the ears listen either side. Horse's hearing is very important. It's almost more important than their eyesight. Uh, over here, uh, Tommy's got the, what we call the heart position. He is working the leg. You see the, the, the string tendon from the hyena. The hyena's front leg automatically pulls the hoof up. <laughs> Horses are so unpredictable. And <laughs> um, the way a hoof comes up with a horse is immediately gives you the feeling that it's a, that it's a convincing horse action. Uh, the hind legs have got the same action. And, and Mikey also has in his uh, fingers the ability to move the tail from left to right and up and down on the, with the other hand. And together, there's quite a complex possibility of uh, tail expression. You want to say something about the breathing? Um, we had a big challenge with the breathing. Adrian thought that he was going to have to split the chest of the puppet in two and make it breathe like that, because that's how a horse would breathe with an expanded chest. But we realized that if that were to be happening, you wouldn't, as an audience, see the breath. So he made a channel in here, um, and the chest moves up and down in that channel, so it's anti-naturalistic, really, the up and down movement, but it feels like breath. And it's very, very simple because all that happens 
is that the puppeteer breathes with his knees. Uh, other emotional stuff. If, if I were to touch the horse here on his skin, the heart puppeteer can shake the body from inside and get the skin to quiver. You'll notice, of course, that the puppet is made out of cane lines, and I would like you to believe that it was an aesthetic choice that I was making a three-dimensional drawing of a horse that somehow moves in space. But of course, it was the cane is light, the cane is flexible, the cane is durable, and a cane is moldable. And so it was a very practical reason why it's made of cane. The, the skin itself is made out of a, a, a see-through nylon mesh, which if the lighting designer wants the horse to almost disappear, she can light the background and the horse becomes ghost-like. You see this, the skeletal structure of it, or if you light it from above, it becomes more solid. Again, that was a, a practical consideration. The, three, the guys inside the horse have to be able to see out. They have to be able to act with, along with the fellow actors in the, in the production, and it's very much an in-the-moment activity that they're engaged in. They have, it's three heads making one character. But now we would like you to put, put Joey through some paces. Thank you. And now just... <laughs> All the way from sunny California, we have Zem Joachim, who's going to ride the horse for us. So we would like to stress that the performance you see in the horse is three guys who have studied horse behavior incredibly thoroughly. Not being able to talk to one another while they're on stage um, because they're mic'd. The, the sound that that very large chest makes of the horse, the whinnying and the nickering and everything, that starts usually with one uh, performer, carries on with the second person and ends with the third. So Mighty Brett from Leicestershire. Uh, uh, Mighty Brett, Mighty Brett, Craig Leo, Zim Jokim, and Basil Me. Thank you. Thank you.